Yeah, because it's true, bitch. It's true. Brandon was right, and he should say it. I'm riding with Biden so hard, dog. Straight up. Straight up. my god oh my god oh my god the cry the crying campaign returns okay we gotta we gotta do a little peep into ben shabibo just a little bit i need to see i need to see i need to see what he's gonna say god ben shapiro got so gutted and eviscerated by like woke students it was amazing so good predict what he's gonna say he's gonna say what everyone has been saying this is hillary clinton's deplorable moments but for joe biden it's completely unconscionable and unacceptable to call a half of the country 80 million, 90 million, 700 million Americans garbage. You're saying that nurses are garbage. You're saying that your loved ones are garbage. You're saying that mothers of three children, all of which were orphaned, are garbage. Okay? It's completely unacceptable. These elitist Democrats are so out of touch with the way that the, the middle America really believes and the, the things that middle America wants. You're saying that they're garbage because they want stronger borders and not be uh, mass raped by Guatemalan migrants, you know, which is real and it's happening. Every time you say cry bully, I picture him. Yeah, it's just that they have one weapon, dude. Do we even watch the video? Yes. If I were to tell you that Joe Biden, the sitting current president of the United States, the head of a party who's routinely called his political opponents enemies of the Republic. He literally did a speech in front of a blood red independence hall suggesting that ultra super MAGA Republicans are tr effectively traitors to the country. What have I told you? The president, who's the head of a party, who's labeled Donald Trump a Nazi and his rally on Sunday, a Nazi rally, called half of Americans garbage. Because that's exactly what happened. Joe Biden was- Yeah, because it's true, bitch. It's true. Brandon was right and he should say it. I'm riding with Biden so hard, dog. Straight up. Straight up. He's doing some sort of Zoom interview from his basement. And, and he just drops it right out there. He's on Voto Latino. And he decides that he is just going to call half Voto of Americans Latino. garbage. Uh, That's what he says here, folks. Okay, I'm going to let you listen to it. Because I will explain to you how the White House and media are trying to spin. This kind of rhetoric will cost the Democrats the election. Oh, shut up, dude. Shut up. God, they are always running scared. Oh my lord. It's not even just it's not it's it's not even just the Democratic Party that is always running scared. They've also made their base be afraid of like fighting any fight whatsoever. What the f are we doing? In this one out. It is honestly the cover up is as bad as the crime. So what Trump what what, what Biden says here is truly an awful thing to say. It's worse than deplorables. The cover it's worse than up better is cleaners. as bad it's as the crime. It's worse than any of the other times Democrats have labeled their political opponents the the trash heap of humanity. This is this is like the apotheosis of that, and it is a direct outgrowth of believing that Donald Trump is a Hitler figure, and all of his followers are actually little brown shirts. Okay, if you keep saying that kind of stuff all over and over and over, if you keep saying Trump is a Nazi, and that he holds Nazi rallies. It is not a leap from that to his followers are, are garbage, which is what Joe Biden says right here. But the cover up is amazing. So first we'll play. I want you to hear for yourself. Here is Joe Biden saying the thing. And this is not a Rorschach test, okay? This is not like a blob on, on a piece of paper. You can hear clearly what he's saying. There's no doubt what he's saying because it's on tape. Here we go. And just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters, his his. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable, and it's un-American. Okay, the only garbage I see out there is his supporters. Inflection down, end of sentence. It's clear what he's saying. He's saying that you, if you support Donald Trump, are garbage, and that I am garbage. Everyone who does not support Kamala Harris is garbage. His supporters, Donald Trump's, are garbage. That is the direct quote from Joe Biden. Guess what the quote is? There is no other way to read it. But don't worry, the media are going to do their work. The media are going to pretend, I kid you not, that there was an apostrophe in that sentence. Now, I know you're listening, thinking, wait. You're I thought it was such a weak way to dis uh, respond to this, by the way. I really do. I really thought that that was like a cowardly way to respond to it. And now, of course, the the losers are are just going crazy over it, you know? Where's the apostrophe? I don't understand. I, I don't get it. Like, I I'm going to read you the transcript. Quote, just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. Well, let me <clears> tell you something. I don't, I don't know, the Puerto Rican I know, the Puerto Rico where I'm from, in my home state of Delaware, they're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. 
His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable and it's un-American. It's totally contrary to everything we've done, everything we've seen. Okay, there is, that is 100% fidelity transcript directly read by me of what Joe Biden just said. And you heard it yourself. You heard what he said. Here is how the media are attempting to characterize this. Are you ready for this? This is amazing. It's amazing. They are trying to claim that what he actually said, you didn't hear what you heard. What he actually said was the only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters Supporter, singular, apostrophe S. Is his supp- he's trying to say that he's only talking about Tony Hinchcliffe. The only garbage out there is Tony Hinchcliffe's garbage. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable and it's un-American. Okay, so that's how they're going to attempt to reread the transcript. They're just inserting an apostrophe. Now, they didn't reach out to the White House to get comments on whether that's what Joe Biden meant. They just said that. That was Jonathan Lawyer over at Politico attempting to just rewrite the thing you just heard. I've seen far more people on the ground hand-waving this because they agree with Biden. I think a lot of people forget that Donald Trump was almost assassinated and the polls did not move. The only thing that moved the polls was Kamala Harris coming out and tacking to the center and, and rushing to be just like Joe Biden over and over again. People do not like Donald Trump. People do not like Trump's supporters. They are annoying. They believe garbage shit, okay? I don't know how else to describe this to you. There are many people who are 100% embarrassed to go out and vote for Kamala Harris who are quietly doing that while simultaneously, they're not saying anything. They're not public about it. They're not saying a shit. They're not saying a shit ton, but they see what Donald Trump has said. They've seen what Donald Trump has done and they recognize it as truly dangerous, okay? That's it. All of this confirms the idea that there are a bunch of people, a bunch of people out there who absolutely believe Donald Trump is garbage because he is. The entire island of Puerto Rico does not deserve to be called garbage. Okay. Puerto Rico is in the position that it's in because of the United States of America. It's an American territory that is undermined and underserved at every step. Donald Trump, on the other hand, has done quite a bit to be called garbage and many worse things than garbage. Much worse things than garbage. That's it. That's the problem. Yes, of course, you can try to remove the context over and over and over and over again from this situation. Except for Jeff Bezos, it moved it for him. No, dog. Jeff Bezos knows where his bread is buttered. The reason why he did not, the reason why he did not want to endorse Donald Trump, I mean, uh, endorse Kamala Harris, or his newspaper to endorse Kamala Harris is because he has defense contracts. He, he wants, he likes Donald Trump most likely, and he doesn't want Donald Trump to, you know, come after him. These are some weird mental gymnastics. If someone can be used in favor of political campaign, it will be used in a pa- uh, favor of political campaign. That is two plus two. These are some weird mental gymnastics. You think I'm, I, I cannot be more clear about this. I cannot be more clear about this. Donald Trump has said a metric ton worse shit than calling Kamala Harris and Kamala Harris's supporters garbage, okay? Every single Republican at a certain point has been like, Democrats are the real threat in this country. They must be purged violently. We must use the military to purge them. Like Donald Trump literally said he believes the real enemy is from within. The radical left, Democrats like Adam Shit and Nancy Pelosi, we must use the military and the police. What do you mean? What the f- do you mean? Like all that stuff is perfectly fine, but then saying the guy saying those things and the people believing those things are garbage is not fine. Get the f- out of here. Hey, the sentence doesn't even make any sense along those lines. It doesn't make any sense. If you read it that way, say they're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporter apostrophe is his supporters. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable and it's un-American. I mean, that, that he wasn't even talking. About, like wh- that, that doesn't make any sense. Either he's an incoherent, senile old man and he can't finish proper sentences or he meant precisely what he said, which is Donald Trump's supporters, plural, are garbage. There's only one way that that sentence makes any sense. And that is without the apostrophe. Every single year when Apple releases the new iPhone, the big carriers play that same old game. Sign your- oh my God. And then he's going to move on. That is not garbage. Now you- so they're attacking Apostle Biden from himself. So Joe Biden immediately picks up on this and he tweets out, Earlier today, I referred to the hateful rhetoric about Puerto Rico spewed by Trump's supporter at his Madison Square Garden rally as garbage, which is the only word I can think of to describe it. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable. That's all I meant to say. The comments at that rally don't reflect who we are as a nation. 
That is not true. That is not what he said. I'm sorry that tape exists to Joe Biden. I'm sorry that that is, that, that, that is what? Okay, so, so they're just rewriting in real time. Clearly rewriting in real time. What is happening right there? I don't believe him. You know who else doesn't believe him? Josh Shapiro, the governor of, of, of Pennsylvania, who's overlooked as Kamala Harris's vice presidential pick because he's a Jew. Here was Josh Shapiro yesterday saying, uh, I don't believe that. That's what? Like that meant what? No. Governor, first off, just what's your response to that comment from, from President Biden, where it sounds like he's calling Trump supporters their garbage? Yeah, look, I had not heard that until now, Caitlin. So I'm kind of giving you my fresh reaction to it. I would never insult the good people of Pennsylvania or, or any Americans, even if they chose to support a candidate that I didn't support. So Kamala Harris is for sure not going to say that. Josh Shapiro is a clever politician. He is skilled, he is able, and he's in a purple state. Kamala Harris is not going to denounce Joe Biden. She won't. I said to my dad how funny it is that conservatives expect us to believe that in an otherwise bumbling mess, the one moment where Biden was perfectly cogent and completely understandable is when he said Trump supporters are all garbage. Like, even they can't possibly believe that. Yeah. Does this guy not know how English works? Supporters, possessive? It doesn't matter. There is no reason to try and, and make sense of a bumbling old man and what he was actually trying to say. It doesn't matter. Please, don't play their games. Do not play the games of Republicans here. Okay? Because she's afraid of Joe Biden, and she's afraid of the base of the Democratic Party, who actually do believe that Trump supporters are garbage. Yeah, because they are. You are. Again, you can't argue for years on end, for going on 10 years, that Donald Trump is Hitler, that everyone who goes to a Donald Trump rally is a red-hatted Nazi, but that his supporters are kind, generous, good people. That is not an argument you can make. This is the feature, not the bug. This is part and parcel of the entire Democratic agenda. People who support Donald Trump, according to Joe Biden, and most of the id of the Democratic Party, they themselves are garbage. That's what he's saying. I'll pl play the clip again, okay? See if you can spot the apostrophe in this clip. I want you, seriously, I think it's important because the media are lying to you. The same way they lied for three years about this guy's health, and then told the truth for two weeks just to get him out of the race, and then started lying again. They are lying to you right now. When they tell you there's an apostrophe in the sentence, I'm going to play you the clip. I'm going to play you the clip. You decide whether there's an apostrophe in the sentence. And he's talking about singular Tony Hinchcliffe with an apostrophe. And just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of is unconscionable. And it's un-American. Why would he even say his supporters? Why wouldn't he just say Tony Hinchcliffe's or the comedians or this guy's? It's clear. I don't know. Maybe because the campaign invited him and also read through. Not only did the campaign invite him, but also read through his, his statements uh, and even offered some feedback, offered some feedback on what he said that was a bridge too far, like calling Kamala Harris a cunt. That was enough. That was not that was not acceptable, implying that they saw the Puerto Rico joke and were like, that's hilarious. Let's keep it going. Maybe also because a lot of the things that Tony Hinchcliffe said in his supposed stand up bit was, you know, things that are in line with the things that Trump and Trump supporters believe. What he's saying, it's perfectly obvious what he's saying. But Politico trying to spin their way out of it. It's an amazing lie that they're trying to spin their way. Out. Again, I'm going to use this from now on. Like, seriously, this is. Gentlemen all over the landscape. Apparently, this is a get out of the jail free card. All right, we're moving on from this. But we Kamala Harris held a message of unity, delivered a message of unity last night in the same location. Former President Trump held their January held his January sixth rally. Okay, which is ironic because then the garbage thing also popped off, and Republicans grabbed onto that like for dear life. Okay, I didn't like the unity speech because. I don't think we should be uniting with these freaks, <laughs> okay? I think we should beat these freaks. We should beat these freaks and not adopt their framework, not adopt their policies, not adopt their language. That's just my take. What the f do I know? Okay? But of course, this was yet again a, another instance where people were like, well, it's not for me, but I'm sure it's for someone else out there. It's not for me, though. 